Hi there, welcome to my channel. So this is a video I taped a few months ago and I never got to editing it down and finding all the videos I taped for it. So I think I'm missing quite a few videos, but I can't figure out where they are and they might have got deleted. So I started the Chloe Ting Challenge, I don't know, somewhere in the last two months. Basically the last month I have not been able to be active because my knees keep hurting. <laughs> Essentially, I did not enjoy the Chloe Ting Challenge. I did it to the best of my ability and these are the results i did not get results in my legs nowhere except for i would think my upper stomach area except the problem is i haven't been active for the last month and a half so all of those things that happened that was good things that happened during the chloe ting challenge are probably all gone so don't do a challenge and then give up on exercising right after that because that's really demotivating because I'm going to talk about a lot of things that are demotivating through this entire video. I started a uh, two week challenge and evidently my first part of my measurements did not tape. So the, there's a the camera turned off. I'm like, was it actually on? So I'm starting a two week coat Loie Ting shred challenge and I took my measurements, took my shirt off. So I might put that in, I may not, but the measurements were 46, 31, 43, 38.5, 55, 0 .5, 29, 29, 15, 15, no 16, 16, 16. That's not right. No, that's uh, 16 clinic. Uh, it has not changed since five days ago, since I did my measurements five days ago, except maybe I lost 0.5 of my boobs. That I don't think counts. So yeah, this is actually day three of the uh, Chloe Ting challenge, but I know measurements aren't going to drop off in two days. So not really offended that I didn't do this right away. I'm not doing the pictures till later today. I know. I'm not going to lose dramatic inches in two days. The 11 line abs, I absolutely cannot do. I can't do it safely. I've been thinking for years that I cannot do the the hip ups safely because they're like, do it from your abs, not your legs. I feel it in my legs. So even today, I was like, I don't think I can safely do this. I don't think it's actually effective in the way. And half these moves are very much like the hip ups, the, the hip push ups. I, I mean, I have to modify so much and I just, there's so, so many moves I absolutely cannot do and I don't even know the modification for it. Like reverse corkscrews. Like I said, don't think I'm even safely doing it the normal way. So I guess the next time that this workout's on the plan, I'm subbing for something else because this is very demotivating. And this is my problem with workouts like this is it's so, so much that I have to modify that is very demotivating and it just makes you want to give up when you're plus size, when you're out of shape. That's why I really don't like about challenges like this that use a lot of these moves that are very advanced, a Grover or whatever it was. I can't even do a regular mountain climber for like more than a second. I do them elevated right now. So let alone an advanced mountain climber, it's not happening. So I don't think I'm going to do this workout again. I'm going to rewind it where I've been talking and do what I can. And I'm just going to like walk in place the other times. And I'm just going to do another workout that I feel like is much safer and available to me that is the same run time so 10 minutes i know the exact workout i'll use that's standing only so maybe yes i have failed the chloe ting challenge already but is the purpose to keep moving and to be active and keep going or is the purpose to make sure you do only these moves which are highly 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 advanced for someone who is out of shape or has never been able to do it safely i'm thinking of my safety in mind Day five of the Chloe Ting Challenge, and today's supposed to be rest day if you follow the calendar that's on the website. 
but I'd rather get most of all my stuff done Monday through Friday. So today I did Serious Challenge Total Body. Then I did the abs in two weeks, lower body burn, do this every day. Now, I saw a sub for Spider-Man planks on Serious Strength that I didn't notice the last three weeks. It's being in tabletop, then doing the knee motion instead of trying to do a knee plank and trying to do motion or elevated. So I've been doing that and I feel fantastic. So another thing I've noticed is that I feel a lot of upper body pain doing the first two moves of abs in two weeks. So I'm like, well, I know my abs are weak, so maybe I need to go slower. I need to make smaller movements and try not to go the whole thing. So that's what I did today and guess what? I felt it in my abs and I didn't have that pain in my upper body. So smart. Now I can do at least four to six up and down planks now. So I am getting better strength wise. Weight wise, I, I nothing. Just measurements wise, most likely nothing. Tomorrow is the core, which I have troubles with finding subs for some of the moves I can't do on the core part. So I, I just Google a little bit more. I don't know. Like the reverse plank. Uh, I can't do tricep. Tricep dips, so I might buy something I saw in Fluidity for those, but I am I feel like I'm getting better at these. It's still not as fun as things like Serious Strength and stuff that I know I can do. I don't know how true beginners do these because, especially with my bar experience, I know what my body should be doing. My body can't do it. But I know my hips need to be even when I do certain moves and stuff like that. I don't see how a beginner can see that or know that, so yeah. body-ish because I have really no good areas to tame anything because you never know in the fall that you know of my body while I do the uh, Chloe Ting two week challenge so there's massive glare here so that's why this has to be there it looks so horrible so if you're offended by human body I'm going to tell you to skip for the next few seconds because I'm I don't know the law the review views I see on YouTube a lot of stomach changes so so I'm going to take my shirt up so you can see I actually never post my stomach on this channel she's trying to take my stuff okay so this is what my stomach looks like my booty uh, I actually started two days ago this is day three I'm about to exercise and um, I should probably be back back but I have had no loss in inches since a month ago so I just did my measurements this morning half of my video did not take so yeah we're it's awesome right now <laughs> good thing I'm not really a professional youtuber I just I pretty much do this channel as a way for my support uh, maybe help inspire someone if anything and you know you're my accountability these are extra large pants they are inch too short uh, this is an XL shirt that I've had for two years so I wore it all through my pregnancy pretty much it's not extra stretched out it's just there because I got used at a make lady party so yeah, I'll try to remember to wear this specific outfit after the two weeks when we do our final things. And I'll take a picture in a little bit in the hallway once I clean that up. But yep, I don't, I don't fully expect to see lots of results and I do consider myself plus size.
So this is the end of my video on Chloe Ting Challenge. Would I recommend Chloe Ting Challenges for a plus size beginner that may be very weak in the upper body? Absolutely not. Unless you are very well versed on how to modify for your body and for your abilities. I'm moderately knowledgeable on changes I can do for exercises. I wouldn't say I'm intermediate exerciser, but I am knowledgeable how I can change it to help my body. If you aren't capable of doing that, I would not suggest collating until you gain some upper body strength. If you can do push-ups and plank poses decently. <sighs> um, I had to add walks in the last week. And that's, I think, the only way stuff started moving around, like weight and stuff measurements wise I don't think I had any measurement loss I had no scale loss I did lose some some fat in my stomach area but that's the one place I don't measure I did have to modify parts of the schedule because like I said I couldn't do 11 line abs I was out of town one day uh, two two days of the last part of the challenge so I just did alternate workouts that I feel more comfortable with doing down where I was and that's about it I, I I was actually tempted in November or December before I hurt my knee to actually do one of the Chloe Ting challenges that were like month long but I never got to that so yeah it's it feels really bad that I taped this video I never got it edited never got it up here on this channel and now I have ruined all those results by not being active by binging for like pretty much half of a month and so all those results are now gone. So right now I'm starting other challenges for other things. I'm doing a blog a lotties challenge. I'm gonna do try became body mommy again. So that's what I'm doing now. So I I I, I hope this helped. Uh if you are interested in doing clothing challenges, it's if you want to know what it's like, it's pretty much mountain climbers, mount, stuff with mountain climbers, uh, squats, lunges. There are lots of things I have to modify, like Spider-Mans, corkscrews, all those things. Because I do not have the upper body strength to do those moves. Like, I even just did a blog of these workout yesterday, and I'm like, I can't do these moves. I can't do some of these moves. What's going on here? Like these aren't really beginner friendly because I do not have the upper body strength to do that. And I won't do forward lunges, so I'll always do backward lunges. So those are a few of the things I modify for my body for what I know is safe when it comes to working out at home. But it's not it's not like perfect. It's not it's just really frustrating sometimes to have to modify so much. That's why I do get frustrated in things like Chloe Ting. And probably I might get frustrated with Blog Lotties. I don't know. I'll do my second workout today. And, you know, even Bikini Body Mommy. It's, they rely so much on mountain climbers and burpees. And I can't do most of those movements. So I have to modify. And I pretty much wind up marching in place most of the workout. Because I can't do that workout safely. Which I don't... It's hard because these challenges get you the views on the YouTube and it's like I want to do the challenges I really want the results but am I going to get the results when I can't do half the workout I don't know so I'll see you guys next time have a great one bye I, ho I, I hope I hope it's okay that this was taped so so late bye